artist and an author. I write children's books about art. They're called the Art Explorer series. And today I'm going to do one of my favorite projects with you. We're going to make stick puppets. And it's fun to make puppets because after you're done with your puppet, of course you can play with it. And I encourage you to put on a puppet show for your friends or some adults. Okay. okay. So for this project, you will need a glue stick or school glue, a pair of scissors and some tape. Okay. And you will also need either a paper plate or any kind of stiff paper. This is going to be used for the head. And then you will also need some sticks. So where can you get a stick? Well, you can use wood. These happen to be paint stirrers. I found them in my basement. Or you can take a cardboard box and have an adult help you cut it. So I want you to take two sticks and cross them. And then we're going to join them with either glue or tape. This is duct tape. So I put the, the tape going across and then I'm twisting it into the back, you see? And I'm kind of just winding it around, pulling it out and winding it around. And then I'm gonna cut it off. And there is my stick puppet, okay? Now later on, you will take your paper plate and you're going to attach it. Now, this paper plate is way too big, so I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut along the circle and get rid of the ridges that are on the edges, at the edge of the plate, okay? So it'll be a better size. So now I have my sticks and my head. But don't put the head on yet. You know why? We have to first put the outfit on. Okay, then we're gonna put the head. Now the outfit, of course, the clothing that your puppet wears depends on what, who your puppet is. Let me ask you a question. If you're making a princess, what would your princess be wearing? Hmm, what color would it be? Maybe she might be wearing a golden dress. Maybe I can make it out of this fabric. Hmm. Now, let's say you're making an animal puppet. Well, what could an animal puppet be wearing? Hmm. Guess what? I happen to have some animal fabric here, and I can make an animal puppet out of this. Let's say your puppet's a magic wizard. Hmm. What would a wizard wear? You're not going to believe this. I happen to have this fabric, which looks kind of shiny like a wizard's cape. What if you're making a monster? Maybe you'll make a green monster and you can use some green felt for that. Now, boys and girls, you might not have fabric laying around your house. So you could also just use plain paper to do this. So what I'm going to do today is I am actually going to show you how to do this with plain paper, just in case you don't have the fabric. So I'm going to make a princess. I happen to have here a pink piece of paper. And what I did is I folded it in half. Okay, this is gonna become the princess dress. Now right here along the fold, I am going to cut out a space for the collar so I can put a pretty dress on. So now when I open it up, there's a hole in there. So let's see if it fits. Now I'm gonna put it through the stick and this is gonna become my princess dress. Now it doesn't really look like a dress, so then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm gonna cut a nice shape for the dress. So it's gonna go this way and then it's gonna come this way, you see? And then I could go this way and then this way. Boys and girls, I like to draw with my scissors instead of drawing lines and then cutting. So this is gonna be the beginning of my princess dress. You see? Now I'm going to attach the head. So in the back, watch how I put the tape, okay? 
I like this project because I'm here to show you ideas, but I am not here to tell you how to make your puppet. I want you to make it your own way. You can make a friendly puppet, a pretty puppet. You can make a really scary puppet too. Maybe you even want to make a monster or a lion. I don't know what you're going to do. Now, boys and girls, I put the tape in the back. Do you see how I put it like that? So now my head is on it. What does this princess need? Well, of course she needs some hair. I love to collect papers. When someone gives me a gift, I don't just throw the gift wrap out. I collect it and then I use it when I'm ready to make art. So I have some tissue paper here and I'm going to show you how I can make hair out of the tissue paper. Now, to save time, I doubled it up and then I'm gonna fold it again because this way I'm gonna get lots of strips all at once. So watch how I do it, boys and girls. I'm gonna cut a strip in there, but I'm not cutting it all the way through. Do you see how I have little strips? And it's gonna be like fluffy hair, okay? This is gonna be really, really pretty. Now, you might not like pink. If you don't like pink, then don't use pink for your project. Use the colors that you like and use the things you have around. But I do want to encourage you boys and girls, don't just draw, because this project is fun because we get to use materials. So let's see if it's a little fluffy, just like my hair. See, it can fluff up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna attach the hair to my princess with glue. So piece by piece, I am going to glue down my tissue paper for my princess so she has some hair. Okay, so now, of course, she's a princess and she needs something on her head. That's right, she needs a crown. I just like to cut with my scissors. So I'm gonna cut a zigzag and I go back and forth and let's see if it looks like a crown. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put glue right along there because you don't want glue on the top because that part is gonna pop up. Did you put a crown or something on your puppet's head? Okay. Now, what else does your puppet need on the face? Well, of course, your puppet needs some eyes and a nose and a mouth, so let's get started. I have a tray here and it has all sorts of different materials that I found, yarn and party streamers and foam. I think I'm going to make her eyes out of foam and I'm gonna give her blue eyes. There's one eye. Oh, she's looking cute. There's another eye. I like her now. Look how cute she looks. Now, of course, she also needs eyebrows. Eyebrows are important because that gives the expression. So if the eyebrows are pointing down like that, it's gonna look maybe a little angry. If they're going straight across like this, she'll look calm. Let me see what I can find for eyebrows. Okay. Now, let me see if I can find something for the nose. And you look while I'm looking too. Hmm. I have a basket here and it's filled with junk, but I keep it in my tray so when I'm ready to create, I can look in my basket. I happen to have found in here, I just got lucky, I found a little pom-pom. Now for the mouth. The mouth gives the expression too. I'm gonna to give my princess a nice smile. If you're doing a monster and it's a mean monster, you could give it a angry mouth. You could even give it fangs, okay? So it's really up to you how you make it. So for the mouth, I am going to use some of this purple foam. Okay, and I'm gonna give her a nice big smile. Now you might be saying, but a mouth is red or pink. This is make-believe. It's super fun to use your imagination and express your feelings. I made a happy face, but you might wanna make a sad face. Can you think about a time when you felt sad? Or maybe you'll make an angry face. What makes you mad? 
You can even make a surprise face. Maybe it's an exciting surprise, or maybe it's a scary surprise. How about a silly face? How would you show that? Or one that's even mixed up? Boys and girls, I'm just so happy making this project. That's why I made a joyful princess. Right, let's start decorating this, this princess. She needs something on her dress. Hmm, how about a belt? or even a necklace. I happen to have a pipe cleaner here, so I am going to take my pipe cleaner and I am going to put some beads on it because I happen to have some beads here, okay? And then I don't even have to use glue because you know what do you do to attach a pipe cleaner? How do I attach it? Can you guess? Can I tie it on? Can I twist it on? Now you want to make sure when you use pipe cleaners that you completely twist them on. So I'm going to put it around the neck and then in the back, twist it a few times. Otherwise it will fall off and the beads will go all over the place and we don't want that. So now she has a very pretty necklace on, okay? Now, what can I put on her dress? Hmm, let me look and see. Oh, I got lucky. I have this box full of ribbon. I am going to give her a belt. So now she's got a nice fancy belt. And I'm going to put some decorations on her dress because in my opinion, it looks a little plain. So I have these polka dots that could look cute. This was old wrapping paper. What are you going to decorate your outfit with? Hmm? I'm gonna give her some polka dots and some buttons. So there's one. See, I'm actually cutting these out of the wrapping paper. There's two. And I'll give her one more. So she's got some buttons on her dress. So here's her buttons. And she has a belt. And now, of course, what is she missing? Hands. So you can get some construction paper or any kind of paper. Okay, and you can fold it in half because I'm gonna make two hands at once. So watch what I do. First, I'm gonna make it like a little mitten, okay? And then I'm gonna snip, snip, snip three times. And then when I fold it, she's got some fingers, you see? Now she's got five fingers and that one's the thumb. And then I'm going to unfold it and cut it in the middle. And now she's got two hands. So now, what are you going to have your puppet say? Who is your puppet? Hmm, my name is Polly the Princess. It's so nice to meet you today. What is your puppet's name? Can you tell me? I have some magic powers. I actually can fly. Take a look. Whoa, there she goes. Come back, Polly, come back. Have fun with your puppets. Put on a show. We're going to make a different type of puppet. We're gonna make paper bag puppets. So try this too. And um, what you'll need is a paper bag, and one that has a fold like this is, is good to use. And scissors, glue, and again, you'll need some different kinds of papers that you can decorate your puppet with. Or, of course, you can also use construction paper. So let's get started. Now, first off, let's think, what kind of puppet do I want to make out of my paper bag? Hmm. A monster? An animal? An alien? I think I'm going to make an alien. Now what color is an alien? Hmm. I think I'm going to make him green. So I have some green paper here and I want to cover up my paper bag with this green paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my uh, puppet down and I'm going to take a paper 
and I'm going to gently trace so I know how big I should cut my paper. Now you could trace it like this, or if you prefer, you can just cut your paper and glue it on and just sort of guess a little bit. And then I'm gonna mark off right here where the top part of the bag is, okay? So I have a rectangle and then I have a line for the top part. Now I'm gonna cut this out. And guess what, when you make art, you know it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? In fact, it's kind of nice when your art looks like it's handmade. It doesn't look like it was bought in a store. Now, you don't have to make it alien. You can make anything you want, and you can decide what color is your puppet. So now I have the top part and the bottom part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this to my paper bag. And remember, you always put the glue on the item that you're gluing, right? Okay, good. So that's going to be the face, okay? And this is gonna be the bottom of my alien. Hmm. Did you decide what you're going to make? Do you have an idea of what your puppet's going to be? Okay, so there we go. So, what does my alien need? How about a face? Now, it's fun to make an alien's face because this is make-believe and I can make as many eyes as I want. So think about what kind of eyes does your puppet have? Now I have all sorts of materials here, and I think I am going to make some purple eyes for my alien, and I'm going to give him three eyes. So here we go. So that's one, two, three. Now what else can I put on my alien's face? Hmm. How about I will put um, a mouth? Let me see what I have in here. Hmm. Well, oh, I have some felt. Maybe this would make a nice mouth. And I'm going to glue that straight across. Oh. Okay. Now, to make him look a little funny, I'm going to give him a tongue. So let me see, what can I make his tongue out of? Maybe one of these papers. I do like this nice bright paper because it'll stand out really good. And it's a little rolled, so it'll make the tongue look like it's sticking out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it so it'll pop out a little bit. You see there's a tab there. And I'm gonna slip the tongue underneath, and now he's got a funny face, and he's got a tongue, and he can open up his mouth, okay? So, what does my alien need? Well, you know, some aliens have antennas. So I am going to look in here, and I see that I have this nice green paper, and this could certainly make a good antenna. So I'm going to glue that on, but before I do, I'm going to put something on the end of the antenna, like maybe a little bowl. So I'm going to take my purple paper. Boys and girls, these are called details, so don't forget to add the details, right? Because that's what makes it look sometimes a little extra exciting, is those little, little details. Now I'm a teacher, I make it up as I go along. I had no idea what this art project was gonna come out like. And that's what I want you to do, boys and girls. Make it up as you go along. Now, of course, he needs some arms. So let's get started with that. And sometimes it's fun. You can take a paper and you can fold it to make it pop out. 
So I'm cutting a strip, and now I'm gonna do an accordion fold where you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Okay, and then it actually pops out and it wiggles a little bit, so that's fun. And I'm gonna put that right over here. So now he's got a cute, cute little arm. And then I'm gonna give him another one. And again, you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And there we go, he's got another arm. So, here we go, so here's my puppet. And let's see, what does he need for a little extra excitement? Hmm, I know, he doesn't only have two arms, my puppet is gonna have three arms. And the other one is going to be blue. I just thought of that idea. That was a good one. Well, maybe I'll give him four arms, I'll see. So, there I go. Now, where should I put his extra arm? See, it's make-believe. So, I am going to put this one over here, okay? I think, I think I'll give him one more. This way, he can give people a nice big hug. Now, boys and girls, what's fun is, you know, after you make your puppets, you made your own toy. So after, you get to use your puppets and put on a show, okay? Because that's what a puppet is used for. So I'm going to put a little glue there, and here we go. And now... I have an alien puppet, okay? I think he's cute, I like him. Okay, ready for the show everybody? Let's go. This is where you have to be a little creative and make up a story. Oh, hello, I'm Polly the Princess. What's your name? I'm an alien and my name is Alex, Alex the Alien. Where are you from? I'm from another planet. I came all the way down to Earth. Well, you sound a little stressed out. What's bothering you? I just look different than everyone on the planet Earth, and that just makes me very, very sad. Humans don't look like me, and I don't even have to see an animal that looks like me. I'm different than everybody else. Nobody's gonna want to be friends with me because I just look so strange. Oh, well, I think you're kind of cute. I never saw someone with three eyes. I bet you could see a lot with three eyes, huh? Yeah, well, I actually have some special powers. I could actually see through walls. I have x-ray vision with my third eye. Wow, I think that's cool. And I notice you have four eyes, four arms. What do you do with those? Oh, I just go around and I hug people with my four arms and that's all. Well, I think that's really, really nice, Alex the alien. Try not to be too ashamed that you look different. You know it's the inside that counts. But I think you're kind of cute anyway. It's okay to be different. Everyone's beautiful in my opinion, and I think that you're really, really beautiful too. Because if you're a kind person, don't you know, Alex, that's the most important thing? I would love to be your friend. Would you like to play with me? Sure would. Use your imagination.